So if you don't know what this game is, it's very inspired by Monty Python. It's a point and click adventure game. I think we're gonna have a good time. It's called the Procession of Calvary. When we're done with this one, I will play the sequel. Well, the prequel. Someone said you. Hey man, that's like saying, that's like seeing like an actual classic piece of artwork and saying you, cause most of this game is literally just ripped artwork from like the Renaissance era. So uh, when you say you, you're actually saying you to like Da Vinci himself. And then again, I also think some of his paintings are derivative. I prefer stick figures, frankly, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> Shall we? The procession of Calvary. Everyone just drew people. Chat was boring. Extremely loud. Oh. Oh. He's dead. He's dead. Stop. <laughs> I need to turn it down. It's so loud. It wasn't this loud earlier. There we go. Whoa, that's enough. The holy war is over. No way, already? Yes, we won. Dang. Rejoice, good as triumphed over evil. The North is finally free from the tyranny of the heavenly Peter. Does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes! We are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. But I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people? No! No more murders! One more murder? No more murders! This is the worst day of my life! If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader, Immortal John. All hail Immortal John! All hail Immortal John! I guess I'd better find this Immortal John chap. Okay, I feel like I have to turn down the game more, but let me take a look at the controls first. Left click to interact with your surroundings, right click to draw or resheat your sword, middle click highlights hotspots. Your inventory is located at the top of the screen. Click items to examine them, drag them, and drop them to use them. Double click to run. Okay. Settings. Music. Down a little. Just the music. Trigger a monk blowing a raspberry on exiting this menu. Sure. Nice. Okay. Well, here we are, chat. It was the good old days. The good old days of the past. Here we have some bugle boys. Uh, oh, Jesus. I drew my sword there. Hang on. I already killed him once. Oh. Uh, true. Someone put a big hole in this poor chap's sternum. That was me. I did that. I think I'll leave him here. Rest in peace, you leak. You leaky titted burk. Jeez. What the fuck? He's already dead! A group of lads playing The Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Yes. Time to die. What did we just tell you? No more murders! Okay, fine. <laughs> fine then, I'll, I'll wait till you leave. Before I murder. Tootie 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 toot tootie tootie toot. Nice. Okay. Can I, what, can, what else can I do? I can clap for them. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Uh, bravo, yes. Uh... So... Hanging corpse. A bloated hanging corpse with a pair of scissors sticking out of its back. Gross. He doesn't look like he has much to say. I'm gonna grab the scissors. Nice. Prepare to die. He's already been murdered at least once. I right, find then. I didn't realize you were so picky. Uh, here we have death beheading a cadaver. 
Uh, just death beheading a wee cadaver over there, no biggie. Predator. Hey! <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Fine, I, I mean, it's death. I think I'd better leave him to it. Okay, fine, let's go. Let's go find Immortal John or whatever. I think this is him. All hail Immortal John. Immortal John, the new spiritual leader of the North. And also the main character of the prequel. So, if we end up getting around to playing that, apparently we play as this guy. I can't reach him up on that fancy throne. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> die! Fuck, they can see me all the way over there? Fine, fine. There's gonna be time later for the killing chat. There'll be time later for the murder. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. Grovelers. Some religious types debasing themselves in front of Immortal John. Uh, hit him. Nice. All right, good. Talk to them? They're busy with their prostrations. Okay. Excuse me. How can I help you? Are you our new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown. But my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title, but the people have chosen to follow me. And I believe their will to be more important than my own individual desire. How'd you get the name Immortal John? Before the war, Heavenly Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve himself of the responsibility of murder. One of many such techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subs subservience. But I broke the chain by leading, by landing in a passing hay wain. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John. Are you really immortal? I highly doubt it. But I guess it's impossible to know for sure till it's too late. That's so true. That's incredibly true. Can I do some more nerd? Can I do some more murders now, please? Absolutely not. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over. I intend to be a benevolent leader. I believe all men are equal and equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. What led you to adopt such ridiculous beliefs, sir? I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Peter. I led the people in the uprising against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the South and drove Peter and all of his followers home. Men, women, and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great none of us had ever dared to dream it possible. It was when I realized the error of my old selfish ways. The power of people with a shared goal of teamwork. It was a revelation more powerful than any I had been supplied by God. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. Unfortunately, he fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be murder. Surely, surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs for me to murder him. Well, he did murder my family and attempt to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he is not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes! You, you won't regret this, my lord. Mission accepted. I'm, I'm not, strictly speaking, asking you in an official travel south. Kill Heavenly Peter. Got it. I didn't actually... I'll hail Immortal John! Ah, uh, yes, to the beach. Ah, uh, yes. Ahoy, boatman! Can you take me to the south? I could take you to a lugger. That could bring you to the brig. That could take you to a full-rigged pinnace. That could take you to the south. Splendid, let us depart without further delay. But I won't be going anywhere until I get my oars back. I guess I should go find those dang oars then. I just need to I just need to figure this out real quick, chat. That's just a couple of nude men wrestling by the sea, as you can see. 
Just thought I'd cover it for you. A couple of lads having a good old naked tussle. Excellent. Chad, it's just a couple of guys wrangling around by the sea wrestling. There's nothing weird about this. It's just a couple of guys nude wrestling. It's art. This was drawn by someone in the fucking 1500s, Chet. I don't want to get involved. Yeah, I don't want to get involved. Hang on, I had more I wanted to talk to him about. Do you ever get seasick? <laughs> Just listen to the sounds. Do you ever get seasick? I once got an explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge of the boat, and the poop was so powerful I traveled eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Does that count? No, I think that would count as food poisoning. But thanks for the nightmares. If you have no oars, why are you still standing in your boat? But I'm a boatman. I have to man the boat. It's literally my only job, and I can't. And I ain't going to stop just because some punk stole my oars. What happened to your oars? They were sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make crutches and the like for the battle-worn soldiers. Okay, I'll go get your oars then. Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> I think it's gonna be this guy, because that guy looks like he's getting his back broken by the, by the force of the wrestling. Hey! Hey! Yes, miss. I guess I am a, a girl. I'm gonna keep talking the way I've been talking, though. What happened to your leg? War! Can you be more specific? I got bit by a pine marten while cowering in a thicket of azaleas. The wound went septic and they had to cut my leg off to stop the rot from spreading to my tits. Do you like samphire? What's that? I don't know. I think it's like an herb or something. I don't have an opinion on that. Cool, good chat. Well, can I borrow your crutches? What do you need them for? I'm traveling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power my dinghy that will take me to the lugger, that will bring me to the brig, that will take me to the full rigged pinnance, that will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter, and I'd still have two whole legs if it wasn't for him. But as a strict follower of the doctrine of Immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people. So I will have to ask them. Okay. Hey! Guys! Should I give this last my crutches so that he can kill Heavenly Peter? Nah, I, I don't trust her. I abstain from voting. Too sad. Colon. Comma. Open parentheses. No way! That spoiled bitch already, already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? Sorry, the people have spoken. Prepare to die. Hey! Yes, miss? Eat lead, loser! Oh! Ah, ah. Ow! I think it just got smited. I tried to do it the clean, nice way, chat. He gave me no choice. Give me those. Yoink! <laughs> now he's just a dead cripple, chat. He's dead. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Better him than me. Up there we have a lone guitarist. A precariously perched guitar player performing Domenico Scarlatti's Sonata in E minor. Very good. Excellent. Bravo! Yes. A pitiful looking knight with no shoes on. I don't like to kick or punch a man when he's down. Hello? What do you want? What are you doing down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor? What injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. I think you need a cobbler or a cord waner, not a doctor. The doctor is the cobbler! He got promoted after the last chump took a spear to the midriff. Oh. I'm gonna go kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. Heavenly Peter is the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. Yes, I see. Can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? 
No, you look like a grumpy knight. Well, I suggest you find a ship if you want to go south. True. Goodbye. Hey. Excuse me. Yes? That's an expensive looking suit of armor for someone on guard duty. I didn't buy this armor, I murdered its previous owner. <laughs> True, do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? Please go away. Step aside, I have to enter the field hospital. The hospital is at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. Fine. Never mind then. I'll just go in myself. Piss off! As I'm sure you can see from the queue at my, at my entryway, I am very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. What? You heard the man. Piss off. What was... Hang on. Ha it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Prepare to die. Perish. I think we're on the same team. What about you? Okay. We're cool. We're all, we're all cool here. Hey, man. There, there. Everything will be okay. I appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. He's right. There's truly nothing I can do for him. Are you okay? No. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days, and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. Oh. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. About time, too. Heavenly Peter is the source of all of our woes. The list of his crimes is longer than that poor man's hair. Can you help me get to the south? No, I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. Yeah, goodbye forever. <sighs> hey. Hello. How can I help you? What's up? Oh, we're waiting in line for the field hospital. For what injuries? His hair has grown too long and it keeps poking his peepers. Ah, yes, that doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Oh. I see. For him, that's agonizing. I, I've had a, a closed mind, Chet. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful. Heavenly Peter is a scoundrel. He once fought it on the pre-ferment for my meatloaf. Ma malt loaf. <laughs> malt loaf. And the yeast became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. Oh. That's horrible. He's a monster. Can you help me get to the south? I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Okay, well, I just wanted to talk to everyone. Yeah, I can go back. I just want to see if there's anything else to look at. God, this game looks so good, and I know why. I think it's because the artist for this game, chat, there's something about the artist for this game. He really, he really gets it, you know what I'm saying? There's something about the artist for this game. And so they will remain in their eternal struggle. I'll just extr extricate these disgusting socks from the pile. Oh, nice. I just took their socks. For some reason, these chaps decided to get naked before fighting. I guess they didn't want to get their jerkins dirty. Or maybe they did want to get their gherkins dirty. I'm not here to judge. True. Let's get out of here, Chad. It's time. Will you take me to the south now? I told you. I can't take you anywhere until you get my oars back. I got you some dang oars. Can you take me to a lugger? That can take me to a brig. That can take me to a full rigged penance. That can take me to the south now. Sure. Just untie us from this mooring post and jump in. Shall we, chat? I'm not good with nuts. I can't bite through the- Alright, fucking fine, whatever. Prepare to be boarded. Yeah. Let's roll. Onwards, chat, to the south.
<laughs> the fucking run animation is so dumb. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a ride. I would have never got this far south on foot. No problem, pal. What are you traveling this far south for anyways? Fleeing the holy war, I guess. The holy war is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. True. True. <laughs> Looks like one of your wheels broke. But judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we've reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker. You can F right off, mate. Look at my massive key. We don't let civilian killers into our town. How do you know I killed a civilian? Your reputation clearly precedes you. Probably shouldn't have murdered an innocent cripple wall if you're trying to travel incognito. Now scoot! <laughs> Who's the sucker now? Both of us, I guess. Oh yeah. Dang. Can you help me get into the town? You're getting no more help from me now I know you're a cripple killer. Piss off. Oh. I see. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that was how it was going to be. I'm going to steal some of her supplies. It won't budge without two wheels. I'm not going to be able to fix this with my teeth. All right, so where can I go? I can go up here? I'll find a way in there. <laughs> or I can kill him. But I'm going to try doing it. I'm going to try not kill him. Remember your recently crucified relatives the way God intended. Ah, uh, yes. Perished, but still cherished. Well, that's a nice t-shirt. That's nice. I'd buy that. Oh, I just clicked off the game. No! Okay. With commemorative t-shirts. Well, yeah, this is a lot. I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. I can't reach him. Kill him. I don't do mercy killings. Not my style. True. Bravo. A fancy flautist playing Beethoven's quartet number 10 in E major like his breeches are on fire. Very good, very good. Can I take one of these? Can I have one of these? Can I borrow one of your heads? Sure. You never know when you're going to need a maggot-ridden corpse bonce, am I right? Thanks. I was being facetious, facetious, you, you twit. Oh, too late. No backsies. I'm keeping this. Yes. <laughs> I don't see how that'll help. Put socks on the guy. That won't work. Okay. Hello. Hello. What's going on here, then? I'm selling crucifixion merchandise, so the loved ones of the recently crucified can go home with something to remember them by. It's a pretty lucrative gig. What's with the severed heads? I can't fit a whole person on a t-shirt, but I find it hard to draw the heads without drawing the shoulders, so I use these severed heads for reference. I'd like to buy some of your lovely crucifixion memorabilia, please. You got coins? No. Sorry, no coins, no merch. All right, I bid thee farewell. Oh, dost thou bid me fare thee well? Huzzah! I am honored to have been granted the chance to share discourse with such a lady. A queen, no doubt, from the proper propriety of her speech. Piss off. Prepare to die. I don't want to mess with someone so comfortable around severed heads. True. <laughs> True. Hey, stop following me. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Ah, don't do that again. Stop that. Stop that.
It's a large, stinky-butted skunk. Words won't work on wild animals. They're only interested in food and sex. True. Oh lord, that stinks! Hit it again. Do it again. I've never experienced a stench so putrid. Do it one more time, though. Excellent. Someone open a window! No, we're not done. The mere knowledge that that odor existed has darkened my view of the world. Once more! Okay, yeah, that's it. Well, I got a severed head from this. That's something. I'm getting out of here before that flutist follows me any further. He's freaking me out. Let's go over here. <laughs> hey -o! Come on now, Steve. Let's get you home to your wife. But I don't want to go back. Just give me a few more hours. You're squandering your prime playing dead in an empty grave. Think of all the thrills you could be seeking if you were standing aloft. All the pranks you could be pulling with your pants on. But it's so peaceful in there. No! No! He's dead! I can't... I'm gonna investigate this. Poor Steve, no. Poor Steve! He's resting in peace now. Horny men. True. <laughs> that is five, that's six horny men right there. Look at those horns. Bravo! Big ol' berries. Those are some big ol' purple berries. Eating random berries you stumble across in a corpse-filled forest is not the safest idea. Also, fruit is for geeks. True. I don't eat berries, and I'm not going to get my fingers all sticky for no good reason. What's... What, at, at what point does a pile of bones become a skeleton? Do you, you need a full set, sure, but... Do you have to store them in the correct order? Huh. I don't want a gross old pile of bones. Hello, Bones. Ha ha ha! Bones can't talk, you fool! Oh. I guess he's right, but it doesn't have to be so mean. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this thing open. I give up. It's too heavy to move on my own. Alright, I tried to do it the fun way. I tried to be a nice guy. But now they're gonna make me do it. They're making me do it. All right, let's tango. Look at my massive sword! Ha! Okay, pal. If that's how you want to play it, I'm not going to stop you. But you won't get very far in life with that attitude. Thanks for the advice, Grandma. I can see the bas basilica on the other side of the canal. We're getting close. Chat. Heavenly Peter's probably in there. He's in there. Well, that was weird. I guess I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. There's a door back here. Piss off! I ain't opening this door while there's a dang murderer in town! Everyone knows that there's a... They're talking about Heavenly Peter, Chet. 
Anybody in? Press off! Fine, fine. They heard about the murders. I gotta stop Heavenly Peter. Sorry, today's performances have been canceled. We can't run a talent show when there's a murder on the list. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> right now. Anyone? <laughs> are we the baddies? No, we are the baddie. There's no doubt. Hey, at least the pipe tutors are still out. Bravo! Toot, 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 toot. Anyone? Piss off, murderer! Oh, I thought I thought we were talking about Heavenly Peter up until now, but now it's starting to become clear what the problem is. Anyone? Go away, we don't want any trouble! Fine! Fucking hell! I'll leave! If that's what you all really want! A pot-bellied ferryman manning a ferry! Excuse me. How may I help you? Step aside, fool. Will you take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? No. Then I can't take you anywhere, I'm afraid. Where can I get a boat pass? I don't fucking know. Shouldn't you know that kind of thing? Yeah, I think it's fair to say I should. People must ask you all the time. They do. But you've never thought to find out the answer? Never crossed my mind. Is there any other way to cross the canal? No. Not unless you know how to walk on water. Okay, no further questions. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna try walking on the water. I'm gonna try it. It's not gonna let me. What was the button to check, like, what's interactable in the world? Hang on. Instructions. Middle mouse button. Okay, now I can see what's interactable. Cool. Whatever. I don't I don't need to I don't need to walk on fucking water to do my cool shit, chat. We'll be fine. Oh, the girl left. You know, I didn't notice this big hole. Here, before. Someone's dug a big hole in the muck. There's nothing down there. Hello? Anyone down there? I guess not. Then we have a statue of the of the man himself, Heavenly Peter. Right here. A huge gaudy golden statue of Heavenly Peter. I guess I'm in the right place. I can't talk to this guy anymore, the gatekeeper. <laughs> you already screwed yourself out of most of the interactions anyways. Chat, I'm inclined to believe that that was the solution. So I'm not I'm not too worried. Too heavy to move on my own. Well, I got a severed head, a sock, and scissors. I can give those socks to the guy back at the old place, technically, but that's eons away now. It is one solution, but you're missing a lot of good shit. I don't think I've missed anything, though. Either way, I don't want you guys to tell me that regardless, even if I was. Let me figure it out myself. Hey. Yes. Nice fresh head. Use the head on the skunk. They won't help me get a head in life. It's a pun. Okay. Try the sock on the skunk. I don't think that'll help. Try scissors on skunk. I don't want to cut that. I have these scissors. I want to use the scissors on something. I think that's... Oh, wait. There's another path. Ah, yes. Yikes. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. A naked man standing on a rock with a longbow. A 
below. Can I help you? What are you doing up there? I'm playing shoot the apple off the silly man's head. Oh. Where are all of your clothes? I don't have any. I'm nude. What do you do in the winter? I stay active. Are you going to shoot the dang apple off that chump's head or not? Don't rush me! Okay, now I'm ready. Oh. Damn! Nice shot! Firing a bow is easy when your butt is exposed to the elements. He's right. Have you ever tried it yourself? This guy's having a rough day. I'm gonna talk to him. He's in no fit state for conversation. I prefer to keep my hands well away from active devices of torture. Hello. What do you want, then? What you doing? We're torturing a thief, ain't we? Cooking up his guts and the like. Ouch. Ouch ain't wrong. Was this chap done to deserve such a fate? He only stole the goddamn cobbler's bloody pliers, didn't he? And when we caught the plum red-handed, he swallowed the flipping evidence. He swallowed the pliers. That sounds like a level of commitment to freedom that should be rewarded. Or a level of stupidity that should be giggled at. <laughs> yeah. Do you really think physical torture is an effective form of punishment? Don't you think a system of rehabilitation and reintegration would be more humane? Are you questioning the methods of yon heavenly Peter then? Because you would be, because that would be heresy and I don't mind telling you it could buy you a few days on the rack. Oh no, no, I was only kidding. I love torture. Carry on. The rack. I'll leave you to it. I should hope you will. Can I talk to this one? Oh, I can only talk to the guy over here. Okay. Don't, no, I don't, don't kill the metronome. Just talk to the metronome. A tiny, impeccably dressed timekeeper. I don't want to put him off his rhythm. And here we have Loot Wench. A slightly somber loot player performing John Dowland's Fantasia. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, sneeze. Everyone knows Loot Wench. Hello. Please just leave me alone. Apple's mine. Can I have my arrow back, please? Sure. I'm strictly infantry trained. I wouldn't know what to do with this thing anyways. Thanks. Now I have an apple. What can I do with an apple? Anything else? Nope. That looks to be it. Skunk want apple? I don't think skunks eat apples. Apple and suck. Nope. I'm gonna go offer this apple to that... to the guy. Can I take another severed head? I already have one. Fine! I just want another. I didn't realize that was a crime. To want for more in life. I guess I have to kill that boat guy. I tried to be friendly, chat. This might be a two playthrough thing if there's actually real solutions to all this stuff and I just screwed myself out of them by killing people. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to die. Feels like cheating. I hope I'm not going to regret that decision later. <laughs> nope. Let's ride. It definitely breaks stuff. You guys think I should like reset now and try to do it for real before we get too far in? Yes, please, maybe. Uh, uh, not nah, double playthrough.
I mean, I just don't know if like I am actually breaking entire parts of the game by doing this. No, murder is the way. Fine, fine, fine. I know where all the stuff is to pick it up, so. You can finish it like this. Okay, well then I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out once we get to the end. I don't think it's a big deal to do it twice through. Look, it's what I would be doing. I'm just playing it the way I would play it. You know? Besides, I'm a character that likes murder. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Heavenly Peter's Basilica. How may we be of service? I'm here to murder Heavenly Peter. <laughs> that is definitely not allowed. Dang. The church is not open to unsanctioned visitors at the moment. There's a murderer on the loose. We don't want a murderer coming in here and murdering Heavenly Peter. We don't want that at all. Piss off. Okay, now I am intimidated. You, in you go. I'm just gonna skip almost chat. We'll do it another time through. I'm just gonna skip a lot of the like the interactions with people on this one because I am just I. This is a speed run to the end. <laughs> Where is he? Peter. 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 You're in there, aren't you? A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, one, two, three, four. Hey, isn't that the murderer? Yeah. Isn't she marvelous? What? No, she's a murderer. Sure, she is a murderer, but she's also kind of a badass. And st strong female role models are pretty hard to come by around here. Okay, whatever. We should definitely alert the guards, though, right? Oh, yeah, that bitch is going down. But I'm gonna stone the shit out of her jailers at the execution. What's up, dickwads? <laughs> I'm glad I did my first playthrough as a genocide run. <laughs> I don't have time to chat with Peter's lackeys. I have no quarrel with this guy. I'm here for Peter. A surprisingly casual and rather bored looking pink frocked lackey. I don't have time to chat with Peter's lackeys. Oh God, perish. Hold it right there, buddy. You're coming with me, pal. Oh yeah? You and whose army? Me and my army. Oh shit. Oh no. Sometime later. Am I alive? Surely I'm alive. I'm incredibly powerful. That's not me. No! 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 Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, I can just scream now. I lost. I guess murdering might not have been the answer, chat. I, I get the weird feeling I got a bad ending. Well, I'm gonna talk to the nail. Oh, it looks like I lost. <laughs> no! No! 
No! <laughs> no! I lost it all! That's the end, you didn't win. Oh. I lost. Well, now I can play it through again, and this time, I guess, is the answer- So chat, can someone confirm for me that's played this game? Surely there's someone. I can beat the whole game without killing anyone, correct? I mean, I already know how I could have gotten the stuff from the cripple without killing the cripple, because I had the scissors and the socks. Like, I could have- I could have made everyone else in that group like me for that vote. So I know how to do that one. If you kill a single person, you lock in the bad end. Okay, cool. Well, there- I lost right there, and I lose. And there it is. And there it is. Yep. And that's five now. Whoa! I'm not gonna read this whole thing again. We're gonna go straight to the cripple. Everyone knows the story. Come on, it's been fucking 40 minutes. <laughs> Let's ride. Come. First of all, grab the grab the scissors from this guy for the give that guy a haircut later. Give me those. Then I gotta get the socks from those two guys sensually wrestling on the on the beach. Excuse me, hey. I never got to ask him this. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Quite possibly. I used to be a protagonist just like you. I believed I was somehow special, somehow more important than everyone else. I thought that I had a personal mission in life, and that my desire to achieve my goals justified all manner of horrible, terrible deeds. Oh yeah, you're the dude who murdered the Pie King. Indeed. That is one of the many misdeeds I was driven to perform in my selfishness. Well, now we know he murders Pi King. <sighs> Can I do some murders now, please? Let's go murder that guy. Quickly now. And by murder, I mean don't murder anyone but him. Alright, very important. Let's go! Let's ride! We'll grab the socks, and we'll begin doing this the right way. Once we get past this part, I'll be able to- I'll just read everything again. Alright, let's go get those oars. First of all, grab the socks. I'm already dressed immaculately. Oh, I think we need to talk to those guys before I can grab the socks. Cause I can't pick up the socks now. Okay, so talk to you first. Hey! Yes, miss? Can I borrow your crutches? Let's ask for the vote. Okay, he'll ask everyone to vote. They'll say, I don't trust her. I abstain from voting. Too sad. No way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should, we, why should she get crutches too? Sorry, the people have spoken. So now I talk to her. Hello. What's up? She's gonna explain that the guy has, the guy needs a haircut. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Okay, so now I'm going to cut his hair for him. A perfectly serviceable pair of scissors. Would you like to use my scissors? Thanks. Hello, how can I help you? Okay, well now he's good. He's getting his hair cut. He's going, they're gonna vote for me. They're gonna vote for me. I don't know how to make this guy happy. He seems too sad to live. But now I can go talk to this guy and figure out that he needs socks. What are you doing down there? I'm waiting to get looked at by the doctor. He's gonna say he needs shoes or socks. So I'm gonna go get him some from the wrestlers. From the two, the two guys wrestling, you know how it is. Yep, socks obtained, let's go. Found you some socks? Thank you. What a kindness. 
I won't forget this deed. Oh, damn right you won't. Now let's talk to sad guy. Maybe we can cheer him up without doing anything. Are you okay? No. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. How do I make a man happy? Do I even need him happy? We have two out of the three. It might be a vote. Can I borrow your crutches now? I don't know, let's see. Hey guys, should I give the last of my crutches so he can kill Heavenly Peter? Yeah, she seems cool. I abstain from voting, too sad. Give that Tootsie Warming Princess whatever she wants. Two out of three ain't bad. I guess I'll be crawling through the muck from now on, here. Thanks. Uh, thanks. No problem. Are you okay down there? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Hey, USS Chucklefuckler, thanks for the 25 gifted subscriptions to the channel. Very kind of you, very kind of you. Thank you for that. In the middle of the chaos. Very kind. Well, chat, we did a good deed today. We did a good deed. <laughs> We had to take these guys' socks, but we did not kill, which means we can go and do this game the right way now. Though I am glad I did it the wrong way the first time around. It made me, it makes me appreciate this game much more now. Will you take me to the south now? All right, let's go. Got you some dang oars. Let's ride! Let's roll! You killed the rope. No fucking way, chat. That's not, that's not how it's gonna be. I tried the alternative with my teeth last time. All right, I didn't kill the rope. Every time I sinned, I got struck by lightning, remember? And my character said, ouch. Come on! <laughs> Thanks for giving me a ride. I never would have gotten this far south on foot. No problem, pal. We've already read. All right, we might be able. To, we might just be allowed in now. This is now. We're gonna. We're going to new stuff. They're not gonna call me murderer. Hold it right there, buddy. Look at my massive key. What business do you have in our town? I'm here on a holy pilgrimage. All right, let's see your tourist visa. I don't have a tourist visa. Well, you can't come in without a valid visa. Look at my massive key. Look at his massive key. Seriously, though. We don't just let any old riffraff into the town. Piss off. <laughs> Who's the sucker now? Both of us, I guess. Oh yeah, dang. Can you help me get into the town? Oh, now you need my help. Yes, please. Well, I am a registered shell trader with a valid shell trading, vi trading visa, so I could sneak you into town in the back of my shell cart, but I won't be going anywhere until I get this wheel fixed and cheer up my donkey. Repeat that? I wasn't listening. I said I could sneak you into town on the back of my shell cart, but I won't be going anywhere until I get this wheel fixed and cheer up my donkey. What's wrong with your donkey? He's sad. I'll have to cheer him up before I can get him back on the road. What's wrong with your wheel? It's broken. I'll have to find a new one before I can go any further. I'm on it. Cheerio. Be so easy. No! Be strong. Come on, Steve. We already see, we see Steve die. All right, Chet. 
We already know how this how Steve ends. Come on. He's resting in peace now. Kill him. Okay, so I don't think we can even do anything in this area yet at all. I don't remember picking up anything in here. To my knowledge. Yeah, it's nothing in here yet. Let's go. Wait, did Tomato save Scum? No, I beat the whole game because I played the evil character and that means I didn't... I basically got to walk right up to Heavenly Peter and I tried to kill him I got arrested by the police. I didn't really... I didn't really get much of a chance to uh, do the... do the thing. I, I murdered everyone on my way there. I lost. Remember you recently crucified relatives with this... the way God intended with commemorative t-shirts. Alright, grab another severed head. Can I borrow one of your heads? Sure! Give it to me. Cool. Now let's go get that apple. Stop following me, you weird fucking musician. Hey. Are you gonna shoot that dang apple off the chump's head or not? Don't rush me! Okay, now I'm ready. All right, let's grab the apple. Give it here. Give the arrow back. This'll make the donkey happy. Or not. Truly, there's no way to know for sure. Until we try. Come, chat. Tanta, what is this shit? A very good game. Donkey Chan. Don't kill him. Got something for you. Here you go. That should perk him up a bit. Thanks. How do I fix a wheel? That sure is a lot of shells. Won't budge without two wheels. Can you use a severed head for a wheel? That won't fix it. What to do? What to? Oh, oops. What is this? What? To, what to do? It's a nice, fresh head. Could huck it down this hole. I'm not going to throw down a, throw that down a hole for no good reason. Hmm. Where would a man like me find a wheel? Yes. Shall we take a peek around and try throwing this head at everything? That won't help me get ahead in life. Get ahead in life. It's a pun. Throw the head at this grave. Okay, I, 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 I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a thing happening here. Just wanted to see. You never know when you might need to throw someone, throw a head at someone. Let's go back over to the other zones. Come. Hey. Man, this place is bumping. Still got that skunk. I don't see how that's gonna help me. Yes. Yes. I don't see how this is helpful to me, but I feel like I need to extend everyone's conversations again to make sure that, like, I'm not missing anything because their conversation options may have, uh, changed because I'm now, uh, you know, not a murderer. What you doing? Okay, torturing, blah, blah, we've seen that. We're gonna ask him about all this stuff again. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Leave you to it. There's a fire here. I don't want to burn my face. I don't want to burn my fingers. Hot. Last time I incinerated a severed head, my girlfriend contracted tight co yeah, contracted typhus. I don't think the two were related, but I'd rather not risk it. True, 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 true. Talk to you. Hello. Just leave me alone. All right. Yes. 
I don't think he's in the mood for a conversation. Get him down from there. I don't think that'll help me get ahead in life. I'm gonna try to, I got a plan. That stinks. I need to, I need to suspiciously hot spot e post. I see. I can't chew through it. Actually, I probably could eventually, but I'm sure there's an easier way. I refuse to use my sword to hurt people. Hmm, why am I even examining this post? I don't think I'm strong enough to pull it down with my bare- Fine! You made me! Ha! I'll just pop that in my pocket. A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functional wheel. Nice. It's better, Chad, it's better this way. He's serving a purpose. He's serving a purpose like this. This is how it's meant to be. We're doing him a, we're doing him a favor. He has a job again. Hello? <laughs> what the heck is happening? Quiet, heathen. That should do the job for now. Thanks. Can you help me get into town now? Nah, I'm not going into that town. I was telling you a fib to manipulate you into helping me. I'm not a traitor at all. I just flipping love shells. So long, sucker. <laughs> that was savage. You didn't tell us you were a gullible rube. The one thing we love more than high-priority skilled laborers is gullible rubes. Our whole economy is based on the exploitability of gullible rubes. I hereby grant you free access to a town on an indefinite gullible rubes visa. Look at my massive key. Look at his massive key. You guys are the worst. Wow, we missed out on a lot the other time, chat. I can see the basilica on the other side of the canal. Murder really is wrong. Wow. Don't let this non-murder playthrough distract you from the fact that someone anonymously gifted 20 gifted subs while I was distracted by that new content. Thank you, anonymous person. Anyone can take credit for that. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was weird. At least I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. A crowd of eager buffoons. An, an eclectic selection of lunatics, imbeciles, and simpletons. There's no reasoning with their type. I'm gonna save my game in an autosave slot because I'm now gonna start stabbing people. Mindless mass murder isn't really my thing. I prefer to do my murders one at a time. True, true, true. I would be slightly outnumbered in this fight. A bunch of merry townspeople enjoying an alfresco lunch. What's this your card? Incredible, incredible, oh my god, what the fuck, how did, how did you do that? Rabble, rabble. Hello, merry townsfolk. Hello, strange lady. Are you some sort of magician? I'm the best magician, I'm the best sort of magician. A surly, self-important street magician. What kind of tricks do you do? All the classics, some sleight of hand work, rabbit out of the hat, walking on water, the one where it looks like I'm levitating, but actually I'm just standing on my tiptoes in front of some gullible pre-hyped rubes to get that reaction shot. Then I sub in a shot where I'm getting winched up by a crane for the TV edit. Like I said, all the classics. Will you show me a trick? Sorry, you just missed one. Come back in a few hours. I'm working on something intoxicating. Why do you have a small child tied to a leash? Oh, I see that now. I don't see how that's any of your business. Okay. True. Sorry, I can't get past this young boy with a rope around his neck issue, actually. Don't worry about him, he's fine. Okay. Seriously, what's with the kid, though? 
you're not going to get any further details on that, I'm afraid. Fine, Jesus. I'm going to walk away from you now. Okay. Knock on these doors. I wasn't allowed in last time because I was a psycho murderer. We open at nine. Uh, wait, maybe I can still talk to them. Hello? We open at nine. Fine. Hello? No one's there. Okay, we can talk to the ferryman now without being a murderer. Excuse me. How may I help you? Will you take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? No. Then I can't take you anywhere, I'm afraid. Where can I get a boat pass? I have absolutely no idea. Shouldn't you know that kind of thing? Yes, I think it's fair to say that I should. People must ask you that all the time, though. Oh, they do. But you've never thought to find out the answer? Never crossed my mind? Is there another way across the canal? Wait, is Brett- Brett? Brett's here? It's time. Brett, I've been I've been systematically executing all my old friends that are mods uh, because I'm because I'm making you all VIPs so that we can't have another Boone situation. I hope you understand. Boone tried to Boone went on a colossal uh, psychopathic almost murder spree in my chat. Uh, so I've been slowly but surely just demodding everyone uh, to to make to make everyone VIPs as should be the norm as it is. I'm sure you understand. Yes. It's how it has to be. It's how it has to be. It's been an honor, my friend. Yeah, well. I can't have people coming in and seeing chat yelling cock and be like, all right, time to ban it. <laughs> <laughs> like the dark days of Boone's reign. You know? Is there another way across the canal? Nope. Not unless you know how to walk on water. Wait a minute. I know a guy who knows how to walk on water. I met that guy. Now it all makes sense. Hello, Mary Townspeople. Hello, strange lady. Can you teach me how to walk on water? Sure. If you do something for me first. Okay, what do you need me to do? I need some purple berries for a new trick I'm working on. I could go and collect them myself, but I'm busy bathing in the adoration of my sycophantic followers at the moment. If you find me some purple berries, I will happily teach you how to walk on water. Okay, I can do that. I know where those are. Let's go. Man, this game's a lot better when you don't actually- Actually, no, that's a lie. I also had quite a lot of fun on that first playthrough, cutting everyone in half. <laughs> what a creative way to do, like, a bad ending. Like, actually just take away most of the interactions from the game and force you to just, like, walk straight to the end, killing everyone in the way. The only crimson-hued stains that will grace the blade of this sword will be colored by the blood of my enemies. Okay, fine. Got him. Hey man, got your berries right here. Got your berries right here. Here's your dang berries. <laughs> Thanks! Can you teach me how to walk on water now? Sure, let me ask you one question first. Shoot, is this your card? But how did he, how did he do that? Rabble, rabble, rabble. What the heck is that? It's a boat pass, dummy. Oh. Thanks. Okay. Holy shit, he's like a magician or something, chat. I'm gonna save. He's like a magician or something, it's wild. I should be able to cross the canal with this bad boy. Still have that severed head. I found a boat pass. So you did? Will you take me to the church now, please? Sure, hop in. Ah, yes, here we are. Bravo! 
A couple of ruddy-cheeked, loot-playing neighbors bonding over Fantasia Nest 58 by Francesco Di Milano. Nice. Very good. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Heavenly Peter's Basilica. How may we serve? How may we be of service? I'm here to fix your plumbing. There's nothing wrong with our plumbing. All our shits and pisses flow into the streets of the less fortunate as intended. Dang. The church is not open to unsanctioned visitors at the moment. We couldn't possibly let you in right now. Wink. If you don't step aside. Step aside or I will gut you alive and defile your bile weeping corpses. If you don't step aside, I will flip out and become dangerously hysterical. We will not step aside. Heavenly Peter is still recovering from his homecoming party. The bouncy castle is yet to be deflated. Yes, it's a health and safety issue, really. There is nothing you could do to convince us to let you in. Wink, wink. Are you trying to solicit a bribe? A bribe? What a wonderful idea. Well, now you come to mention it. We do love bribes here in the South. How much do you want? I'm afraid we no longer accept cash, new papal policy. Straight from the top. We have too much cash already, apparently. Almost all of it, in fact. <laughs> I like expensive jewelry. Oh, yes, me too. Oh, I'll take some expensive jewelry too, please. I I'd like a sup I'd like a supple young boy with rosy cheeks and a pert little butt. Perfect. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Well, that's sorted then. Bring us three items of expensive jewelry and a. <laughs> no! And we will look the other way while you went to the church. Sure, I could do that, I guess. But, I mean, could we maybe just call it four items of jewelry? Absolutely not! Oh, that's a hard no. Okay, fine. I'm on it. Tiny lion. Looks like a good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Now, prepare to die. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, prepare to die. How, how could you suggest even doing that? You're a horrible person and I don't want you to play the game with, anymore with me. No, what are you doing? What? Oh, you're going on strike? Fine, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not moving. Fine, I don't care if you're not moving. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave. Oh my god, she's still not moving. Are you kidding me? Click all you like, I'm not going anywhere. We'll see about that. I hope you saved your progress! Shut up! It's a nice fresh head! Oh, I got him to stand up, but I can't do anything else. No, I'm serious! I was going to sit here and loop these dialogue lines until you piss off. Ah, oh, fuck you. Whatever, I was smart. I've been saving. God, this game's so good. Not excited about having to collect the boy, though, but, I mean... 
Unfortunately, I know where to get one. <laughs> As unfortunately, I do know where to get one. I guess I'll ask a different one. Uh, I'm the new vicar. Nice to meet you. A female vicar? I think not. God is a massive flipping sexist, I'm afraid. Dang. Okay. Let's let's do the bribe thing. Nice. Yes. All right, so I need three pieces of jewelry and... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Horn players. Toot, 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 titi, toot, toot, toot. Nice. A trio of chubby horn players working on a section of George Frederick Handel's Music for the Royal Fireworks. And a very good boy. Well. Let's get to our dark work. I think I need this so I can cross the canal. I wanna, I wanna go back across now. How am I gonna get the boy though? <laughs> I only beat my lackeys when they're disobeying. This dolt is performing his duties adequately. I want to go across. I need to keep this so I can cross the canal. Yeah, I know. Do I just talk to him? Take me back now, please. Okay. What? Well, that'll be the last time you two perform your so-called miracles around here. It's the cross for you. Hey! <laughs> Bring him back! In a minute, I'm gonna go into these houses. Oh my god, it cut out. We cut out so much content chat by being murders. Spin, 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 spin. Hello. Hello, my dear. What's with the creepy dude emerging from the wall behind you? That guy? That's Derek. Don't mind him, he's just blessing our work for us. Ah, I see. What are you making? We work for all sorts of different clients and have a number of interesting commissions on order at the moment. Variety is the spice of life. Okay, you guys seem pretty happy. What's your secret? I don't think we have a secret, I'm afraid. Our work is simple, but we take pride in what we do. We do our bit for the town and we enjoy life's simple pleasures. Also, Malcolm here is very is a very enthusiastic lover. Boing! That's right. Excellent. Who are you? We are dressmakers. We make dresses. I'll leave you to it. Okay, have a nice day. It was lovely talking to you. Yeah, it was lovely talking to you too, Granny, but I'm afraid it's time to die. I'm not going to murder a cute old couple over some poxy threads. Spin, 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 spin. Saint emerging from a vulva-shaped infant head encircled interdimensional per portal. Ah, yes, I see. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Yeah, let's go. My God. Hello. Sorry, I don't talk to strangers. Prepare to die. Oh God, no, don't kill me. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. How do you expect me to react to a sword wielding maniac? Wanna talk now? Oh, okay. Please stop ogling at me like that. You're making me feel very vulnerable. I just want to talk. Hello? And if you're here to belittle me, don't waste your breath. I'm already as little as I can get. Are you okay, buddy? No. I've dedicated my life to the pursuit of musical perfection. In the eyes of many, I have found it. I am widely acclaimed by my peers, showered in praises and accolades. I'm rich. But at what cost? Money cannot buy back my youth. My entire sense of self-worth has been resting on the importance of my art, on the delusion that its creation makes me special. But as I look back on my life, I see that it was a lie. I am not special, just in a position of greater privilege than most and less inclined to do work than that benefited others. 
I'm a fraud, idolized by a select group of equally deluded and privileged fools, but truly loved by no one. I'm alone in all the world and ashamed of everything that has led me here, of everything that I have done. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry? Uh, sorry? Yes, pity me. It is only right. Don't you think that music plays an important role in society? Absolutely. The, lull the lullaby sung by a loving mother to soothe her baby in arms. The ballad spun by a traveling bard, spreading tales of distant lands and perpetuating the knowledge of our ancestors. Or the jig played by a fiddler at a country, at a country wedding, bringing the people together in mead-fueled merriment until the early hours of the morning are all essential to our every day. But I have not concerned myself with such lowly forms of expression. I write vast polyphonic symphonies, the complexities of which it takes another existential malingerer like myself to pick apart and studiously enjoy, or grand operas that only the richest among my peers can afford to frequent. The few that are reached by my music are not soothed or educated or brought together by it but made more insular by its enjoyment. Given further measure to the distinguish, to distinguish themselves from others in their grander or more refined tastes. Oh, okay. It's never too late to start something new. Why don't you become a butcher or a stonemason? I have zero transferable skills. All I have learned in life is how to put crotch, crotchets and quavers in the right order. I don't even know how to talk to a human or wash my own butt properly. Never mind how to butcher the carcass of a pig. Oh dear, I can't help you, you're doomed. He's a streamer. <laughs> I didn't ask you to. Who are you? I'm but a lonely composer sifting through the shards of a broken dream. Would you like a little kiss on the cheek? Yes, please. Thanks, I feel a thousand times better now. If only the depths of my sadness weren't infinite, you might have saved me from the terror tonight. I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. Yes, leave me to wallow in my pitiful self-absorption. Look at those two. Well, yeah, get out of my way. A pair of angels playing Vivaldi's Sonata number no. 5 on a hand organ and an upside down cello. Bravo. A distressed man atop a relaxed cow. I don't have the best view from this angle. No! What have I done? Bro? Here goes nothing. <laughs> ah! Well, that didn't work out quite as I expected. Where are we? There's a fish. Get back here! The slippery bugger was still alive! He got away. I'm gonna have to go- I'm gonna have to go back in there, chat. And do it all over again, chat! I'm gonna have to do it all over again, chat! And I'm gonna have to stab it this time! Huh. I'm going back. You guys think I'm jo- You guys think I'm joking? You think I'm joshing you right now? You must think I'm joshing, but you're wrong. I'm going back. You might, you might think I'm joshing you. I ain't joshing. Faster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that fish, and this time I'm gonna kill him. I don't know why I'm doing this again. <laughs> Is
Is there any chance this was inspired by Monty Python? No. I think that's the same fish as last time. Got him. Piece of cake. Got ourselves a fish. It stinks, but it's a good stink. Yes. Matter of Chat, who cares? It's a fish. I bet you guys... Chat. I bet you guys watched that fucking blowfish going... Argh! And you fucking... You laughed it up. But you didn't mind at all. You didn't at all look into the fucking real video, did you? Where seconds after he goes... Argh! A fucking guy hits him with a hammer, instantly killing him, and then starts, without hesitation, slicing his fucking meat off his body? No one ever thinks about that, do they? They just think about the silly carrot and the silly sound. Ah! They don't, they don't think about the fact that he was, like, screaming. Ah! That wasn't, like, a happy, like, oh, this is so good, this carrot. It was a, help me, I'm dying. I'm being killed. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of rooms to explore. There's a lot there's so much more game that we just cut out, chat. Holy shit. By by being a murderer. <laughs> Who would have thought being a murderer cut you out of so many parts of the game? A painting of some skinny dippers having an argy bargy. Paintings can't talk, dingus. Ah yes. Skinny dippers having an argy bargy. Excellent. A painting of paintings. Let's take a look at this one. Very good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's... I get the weird feeling this game stole art! A painting of bad things. Yes. Painting of an improbable amount of people in a tree. True, true. Painting of a woman showing off her new tea towel. Excellent, excellent. Painting of three naughty boys. Very good. <laughs> a painting of a woman half-heartedly pretending to have been shot by finger guns. of a clever chartist avoiding eye contact with her more sociable neighbors. Yes. Painting of a man doing man stuff with a woman ready to go home. <laughs> yes. A mirror? And a painting of two pipers convening with nature. Very good. Lovely pieces all around. A painting of a tiny lion eyeing up its prey. Yes. A painting of too many boats. Very good. Yes. That... This was, uh, this was such a good fucking... This is a good bit. <laughs> the fact that it gets like... Fucking absolutely <laughs> stupid halfway. <laughs> oh man. And here's a painting of two lads engaged in boisterous roughhousing and or lovemaking. Over here. Very good. Man, look at that mane down there, though. Painting of three naughty boys. We already saw that one. There's a lot of naughty boy paintings. A painting of a man with no more problems. Let's take a look. More naughty boys. Lots of paintings of the naughty boys. I don't know what they were up to, dude, but there was a lot of them. Painting of a serious fire hazard. Oh, Jesus. Painting of a very well-lit woman in a very poorly lit room. True. Painting of some dude getting beheaded then partially delivered to a king. Nice, excellent. Yeah. The painting, a painting of some cats having a sing song. Ah, look at them.
The painting, a painting of the least charismatic group of chamber musicians you've ever seen. Yes. A painting of an incredibly cute juvenile sheep in a spot of bother. Oh. A painting of a potentially useful hand. Yes. A painting of a pair of pious wenches under an ornamental arch. I don't even need to look at it to know what it is. Hmm. A painting of some nudists getting dressed while some nudists are getting burned. Yes. And then just some jolly buffoons making music. Truly. Truly, what a, what a beautiful art room. <laughs> Shut lady. This is an art gallery, not some rowdy tavern. I've, I haven't done my stretches. I'm not physically prepared to fight a man with an axe. True. You don't want to go in there. There's nothing of value in that room. I don't care. I'm going in. It's just a bunch of paintings of rich idiots who paid to have their second-rate portraits of their ugly faces plastered on the walls. It is of no value. No, really. I don't care. I'm going in. Honestly, it's a stain on our reputation. Our art doesn't command the kind of mainstream appeal necessary for financial independence. Normal people are too drunk or too busy or too stupid to support us, so we rely on handouts from these pompous show-offs. It's a shameful business. I don't care. I'm going in. Look, I hate to break it. I hate to break the fourth wall like this, but it's a flipping Kickstarter thing, mate. A backer reward. It really has no value and only serves to dent the artistic integrity of this game. There's no interesting objects to interact with in there. No items to pick up. Just paintings of people with more money than sense. I'm pretty sure the majority of these paintings were commissioned by rich benefactors as well. Artists need to get paid somehow. And what would you prefer rich people spent their money on? Velout? I don't know how to pronounce that. And sports betting? Good point. In you go. I hate it! But I did wanna, I do wanna... I'm sorry you had to see this. I'm so sorry. I did wanna clap for the guy. Bravo! A rather solemn looking chap having a go at box keyboard concerto in D, mi D major. Yes. I can only apologize for subjecting you to the vile pompousity of these self-indulgent fools. <laughs> painting of an arrogant man-child. Painting of a gormless simpleton. Painting of a jolly smartass. And then here we have a painting of a handsome young man followed immediately by a smarmy little snake. Brain-dead oaf. Man with the face of a baby. Slipper-faced old man. Large-nosed buffoon, inappropriately bespectacled chump, and over here we have inhumane abomination. Yes. I'm really so sorry about that. No problem, I actually love bad paintings of ugly white dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need to clap for those guys. Wait, I think I did. A couple of dexterous finger gesture types playing green sleeves to a ground. Very good. Bravo. A painting of a proud idiot amidst all kinds of mad turmoil. Ooh. All right. Now we go. What's your opinion on fourth wall shattering things like that? Works in a comedy game like this. Works in a comedy game. Very good, bravo. All right, let's check out these other rooms. There's a window here, hang on. I, it won't open from this side. A bespectacled, a, a, a bespectacled lawyer. Oh, here we go, well, let's start from the beginning. Oh, I'm right here. Look, that's me, hi. A fat man pointing at a family tree. This guy looks some, like someone important. 
He won't hear me from out here. He has two fistfuls of paper and a can-do attitude. It's an old lawyer discussing the intricacies of some intentionally bewildering language. And here we have a bespectacled lawyer carefully reading some paperwork. A couple of chumps conspiring in the background. These guys are definitely up to something. A snuff-sniffing snob. A slightly addled young fop. You won't hear me from out here. A confused baby in the arms of a hag. Ah, the circle of life. A dead woman. She's dead. Oh, I see. A tall lawyer blatantly attempting to steal a dead woman's ring. He really wants that ring. Truly a beautiful piece. A girl with an amethyst earring. I just saw a painting of you. A girl with a cheap amethyst earring hiding behind a curtain. She looks like she might shatter if I touch her. Time to die. Are you sure that's a good idea? The whole no more murder situation was made pretty clear. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll do it. But if I was you, I would think very carefully. <clears throat> save your progress <clears throat> before you ask me again. Okay. Thank you. Prepare to die. Hey! Guess you won't be needing this amethyst anymore. Fair play. <laughs> I deserved a good zapping for that one. We're gonna do it for real. We're, not, we're gonna do the murders when I can do a murder, but I am going to try to get a no-kill run, obviously. A partially reflected harpsichord player practicing Johann Kuh Kuhnhau's new clavier umbung number one. Bravo. We'll be back for you. I'll be back. Hello. Welcome to the library. I'm the library. Nice to meet you. I really don't understand what I'm looking at. Don't touch me! Hello. How can I help you? Do you have any books? I'm literally made of books. Can I borrow a book? Absolutely not. Why won't you lend me a book? This is the king's library. I only lend to kings. Do you have any fancy jewelry? I have a box full of magnificent ornate crowns, if that counts. Can I borrow one of your magnificent ornate crowns? You cannot? Why won't you lend me a magnificent ornate crown? The crowns belong to my patrons. They have been left as deposits for the books they have borrowed. I must give them back when they return for their books. Do you have any collections of sheet music? My entire lower body is composed of heavenly armies. Can I borrow some sheet music? No. All right, asshole. What is this? Why won't you lend me some sheet music? The whole world doesn't revolve around you, lady. I'll dispense my arias as I see fit. I guess I'm going to walk away then. Try for now, amigo. Fucking, what the hell? Hey! Hello? Yes? Who are you? I don't know, to be honest. I feel like I lack a defining characteristic, like something is missing. Why are you hiding behind that curtain? I'm not sure. I just don't feel like myself at the moment. Something isn't quite right. I can't put my finger on what. My chi is all messed up, you know? I'm not in possession of my normal reserve of vim. Something is missing. Can I have your earring? Why would I give you my earring? Without this, I really would be nothing. Just a sack of guts and bones and broken dreams. Okay. You may return to your hiding place. Sorry, I'm not a talented conversationalist. Do you hate me? What? No. Uh, you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a fish. A fish won't help with that. I tried. Oh, we're in here now. Hello. They won't talk to you. 
They're all too busy trying to steal my inheritance. He really wants that ring. A very sober looking pianist playing a rather drunken rendition of Enrique Granado's 12 Spanish dances. Very good. The baby is killing her. She's strangling them. Excuse me. They won't talk to you. They're all too busy trying to steal my inheritance. Ah, the circle of life. So I can't talk to any of them? Can I talk to you? Hello. Hello. What's all this fuss about? My auntie died. She was super rich. Everyone wants, to, wants her stuff now. Happy Hanukkah. How come you're so relaxed amidst this clamor? This clamor is just the vultures trying to pick clean my auntie's corpse. I'm the black sheep of the family. She didn't leave me anything. Left specific instructions that I should get nothing, in fact. So no picking for me. Dang. Also, I'm off my tits on snuff balls. Aren't you mad your auntie left you out of her will? I was. Then I stole a treasure map from her writing desk. That made me feel better. Then I discovered there was no treasure. That made me feel mad again. Then I started sniffing snuff. That sorted the whole thing out for me. Did you say treasure map? I did. Can I- do you still have the treasure map? I do. Can I have the treasure map? Sure. Thanks. It's useless though. I already dug on- I already dug on the spot marked by the X. There is nothing there. Do you like the word capillary? Phonetically, yes. It has a nice ring to it, rolls off the tongue, but its meaning unsettles me. I don't like to think about the complexity of my insides, the fragility of it all, the fact that I'm one clogged pipe away from croaking it. The very thought of it is making me quite nauseous. Can I have a bump of your snuff? Sure. Thanks. Be careful, though. This shit's laced with uppers. It'll have you bouncing off the walls if you take too much. Okay, maybe I'll save it for later. Toodaloo, old chap. Are you mocking me? Yes, sorry. Goodbye. A generous bump of upper laced snuff. Yes. Hello? They won't talk to you, they're too busy trying to steal all my inheritance. I guess that's all of them. Yeah, let's get out of here. We did, uh, we did our work. We got the snuff. Hey, lady! You want this snuff? I don't need to dangerously overstimulate our central nervous system. True. Key in the back? Ah, oh, thanks, chat. I definitely would have missed it if it wasn't for you guys literally telling me everything. If I had half a mind, I definitely should make sure I don't miss banning most of you for two weeks for telling me everything. At the end of the stream, when I go through the VOD to check for your names. Thanks for reminding me. You guys are so helpful. Ah, oh, shit. Hey. Want snuff? I don't want that. Want a fish? I don't want that. Want a map? I don't want that. Want this disembodied head? I don't want that. Okay. <gasps> Let's go get that key everyone told me about. Oh, how could I have been so foolish? Gotta make sure I grab the key and can't actually backtrack anywhere and do anything for myself. I can't reach it from here. Oh, man. My granddad swallowed a mysterious key once. It turned out to be the key to his heart. It unlocked his heart on the way down and all of his blood fell out. It was a very sad time for our family and I wouldn't want to repeat it. Hello. I need these guys out of the way. Just looking at this stuff is making my blood pressure raise. I'm gonna have to kill. Here I go. I don't want to commit murder in a room full of lawyers. Okay, fine. That's a pretty decent reason to not do it. Let's worry about the stuff we can worry about. We have plenty of other work we need to do, like find that boy. <laughs> Much to my... Much to my dread. Uh, hey! A man dressed in curtains playing a Domenico Scarlatti sonata on a harp that sounds suspiciously like a guitar. Bravo. 
Hell, no admittance after the show has begun. Have some respect for the performers, please. The auditorium is at capacity in any case, ma'am. Scoot. I scram, but skedaddle. Okay. Talent contest. Win the coveted champion's necklace. Entry requirements are talent, proof of age. No piss on your jerkin. I can get a necklace for this. Last time I ate a sign that size, I got splinters in my dudanum. Du dudinum. Duodenum. I'd rather not beat a lady, even if she's a stuck-up bitch. Jeez. Greetings, my lady. Hello. Nice necklace. Thanks. This is the champion's necklace. I received it for winning last year's talent contest. I'll pass it on to this year's winner after the judges have picked a winner. Tell me about the talent contest. Anyone with 24 teeth and a talent can, can enter. The winner gets this elaborate golden necklace. As you can see, I won last year. Congratulations, what's your talent? I have extremely long legs. Is that a talent? It is if you know how to use them. Oh my god. How's the winner selected? There are three judges this year. The mezzo-soprano from the parish choir. A madwoman who's aroused by the stink of fish. And the costume designer of the royal theater. <laughs> they will judge all the contestants and ultimately pick the winner. Wait, one of the judges is a madwoman who's aroused by the stink of fish? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. I'd like to enter the talent contest. Okay, what's your talent? Uh, I can, I can dance. Hey, the fuck does that mean? Was that punch? I think not. Ouch. I can sing. Excellent. What's a song you would like to sing? I don't know any. Well, you better go and learn one then. I can play a musical instrument. Hey, stop that. With those chubby little fingers? You've gotta be kidding. Ouch. I can burp the alphabet. It's not that kind of show. Okay. Save the game, save the game, save the game, prepare to die. Are you sure this is a good idea? Do it. Do it. Ha! Aha! I knew it! Code Red! I knew it. Now that I know her secret. Hold it there, pal. Contestants only pass this point. Okay, I have to get, I have to get a song to sing. I should check and see if there's anything else to pick up in there. Technically not a murder, and I didn't get penalized, but I want to at least see if there's another way to do it either way, chat. So. So silence. Now, this map... Hmm, the image doesn't quite match the landscape. So it looks like the tree on the front there is actually this tree right here. Yes, I see now. I wonder if the map is inaccurate or if the world is. Yes. Anything could be possible. I don't have a shovel to dig though. I'm gonna go find that, that magician. Hello? Hello? Oh. I need your help again. <laughs> What's up, my man? Hey, lady! What's up? The bastard sentenced me to death! Turns out spiking people's drinks with berry mush and rubbing alcohol is considered murder around here. Where I come from, that's classic water to wine jape. But never fear, I have a plan. Okay? Could you possibly acquire me a pair of pliers and a full human skeleton? Why do you need a pair of pliers and a full human skeleton? Let's just say my next trick is going to be... Deadly serious. 
Are you going to fake your own death by any chance? A magician never reveals his secrets. Where will I find a pair of pliers and a full human skeleton? I don't know. I used pliers all the time back in my carpentry days, but I'm more of a wands and handkerchiefs guy now. What's in it for me? Anything you want? I want the boy. Fine, give me what I need and he's all yours. Alas, chat, this is the dark fate we have. We need the boy. Let me go get that skeleton from the graveyard. Who swallowed that plier? Someone ate the plier. I remembered that. Someone was talking about eating pliers, but I don't remember. Oh, I clicked off the game. I don't remember for shit. Spinning tortured man. Ah, yes. Okay. We'll have to go back over to him. First, let me pick up these bones. Let me get these bones. Full human skeleton? Check. Maybe the roast- maybe the guy being roasted is done being cooked now. You could also kill Jesus. True, I could stab him. I guess I should see that option since I've been doing it for everything else. I can probably stab him. Save. You are right, young man? He's fine. So supple. Can't get close enough without exposing some pretty glaring errors in the perspective of this scene. Oh. True. She's right. Please slow down! If we go any faster, I'm a He's gonna hurl if they go any faster. Spin him faster! I'm afraid that decision ain't in our hands. We keep our pace with the old metronome, don't we? No. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it to him. Faster! He doesn't seem to take requests. Oh, he'll take this request. Wow! Yeah, I think it's time to pick up the pace a little bit. Here it comes! <laughs> Alright, we got it. Poor metronome, I've ruined his life. I got the stuff. I got you a full human skeleton. Excellent, thanks. Oh, the skeleton is missing its right scapula. I have notoriously present scapulae, but I guess it'll have to do it. And here's the pliers. Wonderful, thanks bro, this'll do nicely. Okay, are you ready to see something incredible? Sure, close your eyes. How would I see the incredible thing if I- if my eyes are closed? Close your dang eyes! Okay. Uh... <coughs> Ta-da! Hey! He's legged it! Son of a bitch! With my boy! Get back here! I bet he went back to the scene of the crime. Ah, uh, where'd you go, you son of a bitch? Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? It's a talent show, not the place. I can't believe he just frolicked away like that. It's gotta be one of these. No, not in the art room. Wait! <laughs> I have an idea, I know where he went. Out there. 
Hello? Hello, who's in there? It's me, you clown, the street magician. Can't you tell by the tone of my voice? There's no voice acting, dingus. And this horrible font gives me no clues towards timbre or cadence. Whoa. What have you done to my lovely fourth wall? I toiled for hours to build that. Hey, kid. Two hours. Don't you know Steam reviewers hate this meta bullshit? Hashtag game dev, hashtag indie dev, hashtag made with unity. Jeez, Papa, you just made it ten times worse. Yeah, by commenting on the glaring omission of basic functionalities is one thing, but an interjection by a hashtag quoting God is a whole nother ball game. Yeah, my bad. Camera switch, return to last gameplay transition time 0.5. I can't believe this noob still uses visual scripting. What the heck was that? Just ignore him. He's under a lot of pressure at the moment. Okay. What are you doing in there? I'm working on my back from the dead bit. I'm snu I snuck in here to await my funeral. I was planning to jump out and surprise everyone as they mourned my passing. Classic. But it's super creepy in here and now I want out. Please help me. When, how did you get that massive boulder? How did you get past it? I was obviously malnourished from my time on the cross. I managed to squeeze through the gap. But then I ate a bunch of black pudding and now I'm stuck. Where'd you get the black pudding from? There's some crazy voodoo lady making it at the back of the cave. There's so much crazy stuff going on in here, bro. You need to help me out. Will you promise to give me the boy if I help you? Yes, yes, I promise. I swear in my biological mother's life. <laughs> Try pushing from your side. Okay. Ta-da! I hate that guy. Where's the boy? Some shady characters. Judging by the amount of blood she's squeezing from that human heart, I'd say they're doing some sort of voodoo. I don't want to get involved in whatever it is they're up to. Where's the person playing the music? Oh, it's you. Uh, Loot Goblin. A friendly young goblin playing Pavan by William Byrd. Little loot goblin. Supple young boy with rosy cheeks and a pert little butt. All right, you son of a bitch. So supple. Are you all right, young man? You're coming with me. <laughs> No! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Satanic altar with sacrificial lamb. Just a good old everyday run-of-the-mill satanic altar. I'm not up to speed with modern satanic incantations. Mine. Super cute. Barrel full of bugs. My grandfather ate a barrel full of bugs once. He accidentally inhaled a handful of caterpillars and was coughing up butterflies for months. It was a sad time for our family, and I wouldn't want to repeat it. Careful! Those bugs will eat the flesh off your hand, given half a chance. Don't worry, I fondled a few creepy crawlies in my time. Okay, carry on. A handful of bugs, lucky me. Gross, but an essential link in the food chain. I think that was Satan that we saw, chat. Hang on, I should save my game. Squawk! Squawk! Are you talking to me? Squawk! 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 Squee! Do you speak English? Oh yeah, sorry about that, my dear. I'm not often afforded a chance to converse with human peeps. I always forget y'all prefer words and such. Lovely weather we're having! Anyway, as I was saying, we're in the middle of a pearl famine here. We're not really in the mood for visitors. What do you exactly mean by pearl famine? I mean we're dangerously low on pearls. Why are you so desperate for pearls? Pearls are our lifeblood. We eat them. Without pearls we will perish. We also trade them for goods and services. Without pearls we will have no more street dance tuition. But we can't produce pearls anymore because of the devil is, because the devil has cursed our clan. Wait, the devil is involved now too? Yes, the devil is our leader. We are demons. 
We do his earthly bidding and make sacrifices at his altar, but recently we have been unable to find an appropriate sacrifice, so he has cursed our clan to punish us. The more you talk, the less I understand. If I help you appease the devil, will you give me some of your pearls? Sure, if you can find an appropriate sacrifice, I will give you one pearl. Two pearls? One pearl. Okay. What constitutes a, an appropriate sacrifice? That's the problem. We don't know. The devil never exp explicitly expresses his wishes. He requests his sacrifice via riddle. And we haven't been able to figure out what the last one means. What was the riddle? I will recite it for you now. <clears throat> From crucifixions they oft derive in gens. There's one... Antonello's five. Search Pete's to find another one, but alas, Cornelius features none. Can I have a pearl right now? Not until you help us find an appropriate sacrifice for the devil. What the heck are you talking about, though? Look, I'll make it simple. If we don't solve the devil's riddle and offer him an appropriate sacrifice, he will, we will all perish. Oh, okay. This is all too weird for me. I'm off. Bye, then. A feline choir assisted by an owl and a pipe-playing jester-dressed marmoset. Just some cats singing the Allegretto from Claudio Monteverdi's Madrigals. Yes. Excellent. Bravo. Fat pig smoking a pipe. I don't want to bother them. They won't bother me. A cat slash sports fan. Some kind of book-winged creature. A creepy armor-clad bird of some description. Goat man. Looks like a pretty standard goat man. Bah! Can I help you? Do you have any pearls I can borrow? Sorry, we don't have enough to share at the moment. Our clam is cursed. Are you a goat or a man? I don't feel defined by my species. Goat, man, man, goat. I don't relate to any of it. I'm a dancer, a student of movement. Also, I'm a prolific murderer. Those are my defining characteristics. Do you have goat genitals or man genitals? Answer the question. My collection of genitals is more vast than you could have possibly imagined. And features specimens far rarer than man's or goat's. What the actual fuck? I'm going to assume that's rhetorical. What's with the massive clam? That's our enchanted clam. It produces the pearls we all need to survive. You're making me uncomfortable. Goodbye forever. Goodbye. It's the biggest clam I've ever seen. Hello, clam. Don't touch my clam! Clam want a fish? You guys want to sacrifice the boy? I'm down to sacrifice the boy. Does this look like an appropriate sacrifice? I don't know. Place it on the altar and we'll find out. Once you've made a sacrifice at the altar, let me know and I'll summon the devil to inspect it. Alright. Severed head first. We've had that for eons. Excuse me. I've made a sacrifice at the altar. Okay, fingers crossed. Offering has been rejected. Oh, okay. Next. We'll do it as long as it. We'll do this as many times as it fucking takes. Next up, fish. Wait a minute. I bet he really likes treasure maps. Hang on, I already know the fish is gonna fail. I don't need to. Actually, do I know though? If I skip fish and then I regret it later, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be disappointed in myself. We must ask. We must ask if he hates the fish or not. He might like fish. Uh, um. Shit. Fuck. I fucking did. 
Have you tried using your brain to solve the puzzle? No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. That sounds pretty stupid. That sounds pretty fucking dumb. You'll be fine. I made another sacrifice. I don't think he likes it. Fuck! We don't want the- you don't want the boy? Everyone hates this boy, dude. Ah, what am I gonna do? I need to re- I need to listen to the fucking riddle again. Come here, boy. Do, or does the riddle even matter? What was the devil's riddle? From crucifixions they oft derive, in Jan's there's one, and Tello's five. Search Pete's to find another one, but alas, Cornelius features none. Crucifixions they oft derive. Like crosses? He wants like a bunch of crosses? In Jan's there's one, and Tello's five. I don't know the names of these fucking- I gotta like check people's names. I mean, nails? Maybe? Nails, crosses... I don't remember the names of the fucking buildings is all. So like, I don't remember like, oh, who's- it? where's Jan live, you know? I have to like, check the names of the people now. Jan says one, and Tello's five. If I can find something that makes sense between those two once I find Jan or Tello. Street magician and devoted admirers. Oh no. He won't hear me over the crowd of fawning zealots. He looks like looks like the success of his back from the dead bit wasn't affected by his premature exhumation. Okay. Do da -de do do do. Hello. I can't find the treasure. I can't help you with that, I'm afraid. I already tried my best to find it. I dug at the spot marked with the X, but there was nothing there. I don't have a shovel. So it's not like I can even dig for the treasure myself. Hmm. I want to get that key. Hey, chat. Actually, first of all, let me ask him about this. So why will you not give me a sheet music? The whole world doesn't revolve around you, lady. I just... Why won't you lend me an ornate crown? I want, I want something, I want something from you. Do you want, do you want the boy? I don't want that. Do you want treasure map? I don't want, you want the sheep? What can I use a sheep for? Oh, I didn't want to go back in here. I didn't mean to go back in here. <gasps> yeah, he already dug that hole, chat. So I can't... I can't just, like, get... I can't just go back in there. Like, I, I, I don't have a shovel. I can't just dig another hole somewhere. Unfortunately. I didn't miss anything in here, right? God forbid I did. There's too much shit in there to even find anything. Nothing in here. I'm just gonna carefully read, like, just check through everything, just to be sure. Probably gonna hop back in the water here because I want to check this for the treasure.
Nothing. Uh, I was hope I was wondering if maybe the uh, perspective. You know. Eh. No. Nothing. Two more fish. No fish. No fish. Hmm. See, it's strange because I don't have a shovel. Boy, go in the hole. I'm not going to throw that down a hole for no good reason. Clear. I'm clearly not in the right place. I wonder if I just need to be standing on the spot. Hmm, the image doesn't quite match the landscape. Yeah, I don't see a bridge at all. Hmm. But where? But where? I'm sort of lost. I'm sort of confused what to do now. go back to the cave for a minute I don't there's no names for these wait a minute wait a minute Jan was one of the names right to the art exhibit can you do the talent show not without music I need to know like a song How the fuck am I gonna find Jan in this? There's so many fucking paintings. This isn't it. There's no way. That's a lot of art. Saint Veronica. Bernardo, no. Jan. Trees. There's one tree. In this thing by Jen, Jen Mostert. I'm seeing one tree. One big tree. Jen has five? Was it Jen has, no, it's someone else has five. I don't remember the whole thing. What was the rest of the fucking riddle? Nah. I remember the other fucking name, Antoine Antello. Antello 5, Jan was 1, Antello had 5. Where's Antello? I'm looking for pictures of naughty boys. Antonello! Had 5. 1, 2. 5. There might be other stuff by Antonello, though. Maybe I can ask to borrow a painting. Maybe he wants a painting. Maybe he just wants a painting. Because there's no one, like, crucified on this. I mean, it's like, it's, it doesn't matter if I see something in here if I can't interact with a part of it to bring it over there. Cornelis has none. I haven't seen, have we seen Cornelis in any of these yet? I'm just using the ones like here. I'm gonna assume they're not expecting me to check every fucking wall. Bernardo. Hendrick. Lucas. Albert. Rambart. Hans. Garrett is gonna expect me to check the walls. I think. God, no. Wait. Salvador, no. Fuck. Well, there's that. There's the fucking painting of the thing. They're the same. P 
But this isn't very helpful to me. Don't you even think- I need to get rid of this- I gotta get rid of this guy. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy, he's in the way. I haven't done my stretches. Oh yeah, I tried to kill him. Can I talk to him? Fuck. Yeah, I need him out of here. I can't just hit this thing. Fuck! I'm open for hints now, chat. I do want to move forward with the game because I still want to play the other one tonight. First line of the riddle. I don't even remember the first line. Bugs on dude. I don't know if these are hints or you guys just like fucking shit posting. Crucifixion naughty boys. There's definitely five particular items in Antonello's painting. I remember which one is his painting. It's this one. I can barely fucking see anything on this. Severed head, I already... Yeah, five heads. But, like... The Jan one has certainly more than five heads. You know? So that's nothing. Because I already tried to give him the head. So what has one thing here where there's five on the other one? Put the head in the bug barrel to get a skull, that's what he wants. Okay, I literally would have never gotten it, so thanks. <laughs> yeah, that explains it. Alright. That's sort of a that's sort of an sort of a sort of roundabout thing to do. I wonder if I could just They're nibbling at the flesh, but there's not enough to make them make a serious dent. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so obsessed with uh with doing it myself if it means I have to spend like 40 minutes figuring it out. Gross! The bugs have eaten off half the flesh of the head. Uh finish it. My grandfather ate a barrel of bugs once. Finished the job. Gross, the bugs have eaten all the flesh off of the head. Excellent. This is gonna hook us up with that pearl, Chet. Excuse me, yes, dear? I have made a sacrifice, send him. Satan! Uh. He loves the skull. He loves the skull. Bingo! Something's brewing! Pearls! Sweet, sweet pearls! Praise Vishnu. Thanks for your assistance, strange lady. Help yourself to a pearl. Thanks. Just one. Thanks. Save the game. I said just one! I fine. A freshly brewed, perfectly spherical pearl. Mm, what can I do with a pearl, though? I'm gonna go offer this collection of stuff to the girl. Uh... The girl behind the thing. Boy in the barrel? No, we need to give the boy to that weirdo. So we can't... We cannot... So what's with the map? I'm not sure. I feel like I'll either figure it out or I'll ask chat to help me eventually. That's a talent show. I want to go in here, actually. This is the, I thought this was the, man, I, it's hard to navigate this place. Cause I look in there and that looks like the talent show hallway to me from like the side. Hey you, want a pearl? Swapsies? A pearl? Okay, I guess it's worth a try. 
OMG, this is fabulous. A pearl earring. Why didn't I think of that? It seems so obvious now. I'm a girl with a pearl earring. Thanks, strange lady. No problem. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a new look to flaunt. Let's roll the sleigh, man. That was weird. What was that man there the whole time? Swapsies. I swapped it for an amethyst. I think she's dead. There's a chance she's dead. But she died. If I go explore for a minute. Flaunting her new look. Maybe she fell into this hole. No. Did we talk to Jesus already? We tried to talk to him, but he's got so he's got such a good thing going on right now, he doesn't even care about me anymore. I need that key. The window is blocking the way. I need, to, I need a way to get that key. I need a way to get that key. God damn it. May I backseat a way to get through the window? Go for it at this point. Go for it. I'm starting to reach the point where my brain doesn't know what's happening anymore. Break the window? <laughs> no, that wasn't it, chat. That, wa that, that wasn't it. Oh, never mind. Hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna offer the backseat, make sure that you actually know the answer. I wasn't I wasn't giving you the uh, the the permission to just guess random shit. I was expecting that you knew the answer. That was sort of the point. You need another item. Well, I got this fish. It stinks, but a good stink. I know that's what, what, the, what one of the judges will use the fish. That's like trick one of the judges. Let me go talk to the fucking... Let me go talk to that lady again. The one at the... I can't talk to the gatekeepers. I, I, I've tried. I'm gonna go talk to the, the talent show girl again. Make sure I know what what I'm allowed to do for the talent show. Talent, proof of age, no piss on the jerkin. I'd like to enter the talent contest. What's your talent? So I said I can sing, right? I better go learn a song. How am I gonna learn a song? Go back to the cave. There's there's only been some people that have actually been singing. The cats were singing in the cave. Sad man. Hang on, sad guy. He said something about opera. Stop telling chat. Forget about the bugs. Oh my god. Every other message I see in chat is use the bugs on that. Use the bugs. It's like you're four. Hey, can you write a song for me? Just take one, they're worth this. Oh, okay, thanks. Got it. I'm not sure it's gonna get me a win, chat, but what it will is get me in. You know, that's what it's all about. Spin, 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 spin. That was easy. Hey. Uh, I'd like to enter the contest. I can sing. Claudio Monteverdi's Lamento di Arania. D 
the ar 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 uh, whatever the fuck. You can take the stage now. Shatter all the bones in your leg. You got it. This is my competition. Oh. Here I go. Ah, uh. uh, uh-oh. Chet? I didn't read any of the fucking notes. I just fucking looked. I gave it a once over, bro. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember the word. No! You got the words wrong, you tit. You're positively oozing with the reek of Pollock. Your dress is less attractive than my father's plague wounds. <laughs> Thanks for the nine. You in the middle, you get me. Ow! <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna... Fuck, I can't screen cap while I'm... Uh, God damn it! Wait, yes I can. Remember, chat? Remember, chat, you don't have to be the best, you just have to cheat. It's easy. No, one, no one's gonna think any less of you for cheating, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't. Come on. It's fuck studying, I don't give a fuck. I'm a, I, I cheat. I have to do it quickly though, that's the thing. Okay, so chat, I gotta be really careful here. I still need a dress, but maybe we can still win anyways. Alright, here we go. La Ciet Temi Timore. La Ciet Temi Timore again. Echivo Le Tevoy, apparently, is the next one. Just cheat. Chibi Comforte. In cozy. God! Ah! Wow, they make you go fast. <laughs> Fuck all of you! Jesus! I just like pull it up on full screen, it's too small. Ow, whatever, I'll get a dress first. That'll make everyone like me more. Fuck them! I'll kill them all. I should have done murder run. Remember we beat this game in 10 minutes with murder? It was easier back then. It was a simpler time. Hey. Will you make a dress for me? Of course, my dear. What kind of dress are you looking for? Something fancy enough to impress the judges at the talent show. Oh, what an exciting commission. We'd be more than happy to help. Come back in a few hours and we should have something for you. Thanks. Okay, I'm leaving for a few hours now. Is my dress ready yet? Not yet, sorry. Hello? Is my dress yet ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Leave you to it. Hey, bitch. Give me a dress. Right now. Give me your dress. Give it here. God damn it. Action to how chat, how do I get this thing faster? I'm I'm gonna kill him. I kill for this. Oh no. Use the bugs, of course. Take a swim. That does seem like it would take about two world hours. Murder is not... Murder is not the answer. Well, I can't imagine this game's actually gonna make me wait two hours. That'd be, that'd be stupid and totally... Uh, totally... 
opposite. This is getting ridiculous. All right. <gasps> How many times have uh. I been here? All right. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> All right. My dress better be done, or heads are gonna roll. I shit you not, chat. They will. I'll kill them. I'll murder them all. I'll murder them. Oh. Nice. Is this mine? It sure is. Good luck at the talent show. All right, chat. Let's get that fucking thing. I sure hope that that pearl, trading that pearl didn't cost me my ability to actually beat the game without murdering someone. That would be, that would be the suckiest fucking thing to ever find out, but I, I sure, I can't believe that. So I'm, I, I think that what I did, I think what I did was fine. Or it would have said like, oh, you should probably save because it's been doing that the whole time. So we're probably fine on that. Let's do this for real. And I gotta like full screen my game entirely, like my window for the, uh, for this so I don't fuck it up again. Okay. You're fine? Okay, cool. All right, let's not fuck this up. Look at my dress! Oh, it already shows me my decisions for the last one. Chi mi con forte in cosi. All right. In cosi du ra sorte. In cosi gran mar martire. Oh my god. It gives you like 10. F this is fucking obnoxious. Holy <laughs> shit. Maybe I'll still win because everyone else likes me. Where did you learn to read? You positively oozing of the reek of Pollock? Your dress is fabulous. I still got thrown out after all that. Are you kidding me? It's so hard to read. The I can't imagine memorizing it. I got it this time. It's just hard to keep track of it. It is really hard to keep track of it. It's really hard to like read the fucking list on the screen. I wish you could skip the dialogue. Get further every time. Okay. Then that one. Incosi de Sorte. Incosi Grand Mar Tire. And then it's La Siete Mi Morire. And then it's La Sia Timi Mori Ray. Okay. There we go. Did it. Give me my fucking necklace. Come on, give it here.
Yeah, give it here, motherfuckers. You sang wonderfully. You positively, you're positively oozing with the reek of pollen. Your dress is fabulous. Excellent, excellent. That's a win. Congratulations. Here's your dang necklace. Thanks. Now I'm off to fight. Now I'm finally free to stop living this lie. Giddy up, Rodney. Nice. Okay, so, chat, I already know. I think the last thing I need to get is I think I have to get the treasure map. I think I have to do the treasure map. I think that's where the last piece of the puzzle is. There's something you can do with the painting now. I could try it again. I remember the one. It was this one right here. They're the same. May kill it. Does clicking X inside the painting work? Well, it'd be right. Yeah, it'd be right where I just clicked. Right here. Wait, I saw it for like a second. Ah, yes. There's a safe hidden behind the picture. It's locked. How the fuck am I gonna? Hey! Help! Shut up, lady! This is an art gallery, not some rowdy tavern. Now I need to get that. I guess I'll go tell the guy. Maybe he'll give me the key now. Or maybe they're all dead in there. Because I remember the key from the window. But I'll have to kill him to get it. God damn it, wrong fucking room again. I hate, I hate this place. I hate this place. It sucks. Is it over? Oh, this is the wrong room. What do you want now? Hey, you want this music? I don't want that. Oh, okay, well, <gasps> bye. I don't even know what your purpose is, but bye. They're all still here. Hey. Hello. How the fuck? I need to save. How am I gonna get everyone out of this room? Alright, motherfuckers. I can't kill them all. Close tight. I need to find a way to open this. I don't really have a use for this for this thing anymore. The smelly fish. Yeah, I'm sort of Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Someone can just tell me if they want. Cause uh, we've been on this game for a little bit in this section. You need to explore somewhere else, unfortunately, backtracking. The skunk? I have to go all the way back to Skunk Chen? I forgot he even existed. I thought he was a meme. It's been so long since I had to deal with Skunk Chen. Jesus. All right, Skunk Chen. This was, uh, the game was a lot easier when I was allowed to kill everyone. I would rather keep him hidden from prying eyes. I don't really want people knowing I've kidnapped a stray, uh, a stray child. Okay, I'm gonna give you the bugs. Become my friend. 
He snaffled them all up. I think we're friends now. Nice. Now that we're friends, what do I do with you? You'll just follow me? I don't think you'll follow me. I think I have to get more bugs. No! He was following me. And then I blew it. How was I supposed to? I assumed I had to pick him up. That's the, that is the logical thing to do in that situation, is pick him up. I have a fully grown child in here! Chat. Logically speaking, I was in the right. I have a boy in my inventory. How the fuck can I not carry a skunk? I also have a large fish and a dead sheep. I should be able to fit everyone in this goddamn city in my pockets at this point. Just reload the game. You mean to the spot back at the fucking- Oh my god. You goddamn- You goddamn clown. You fool! Here, eat them. Come along, friend. I'm gonna take him inside the house. I think is the smart thing, because the, the windows are shut. It'll gas him out. Come along, Skunk Chan. What am I watching? Art. And the murder of Heavenly Peter, I think, is his name. Come on, Skunk Chan. Hey, everyone. This is my boy. Wait. Just in case. And perish. <laughs> what is that god awful stench? Someone open a damned window before I stick a f I before I sick pheasant all down my necks. My. My. My red. I, I don't fucking know. The te the the font's starting to confuse me. <laughs> Kex means your pants. Okay. All right, let's grab this thing. Got it. <laughs> Fucking weird arm. Whoa. What kind of animation was that? It looked like her hair coalesced into a hand-shaped knot to grab the key. Shut up. If we don't draw attention to it, no one will notice. Oh, they'll notice. It looked like a green trunked elephant wandered past and snaffled up the key. Look, it's a complicated animation. The whole arm is a single sprite with four bones. It needs to appear behind the body at one end and in front of the body slash wall at the other. I'm a Macromedia Flash MX kind of guy. This fancy bone animation is still new to me. Cut me some slack. That was really bad though. It was so bad. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I tried to make the animation look good, but it was difficult, and I got bored. So I decided to revert to my comically poor first attempt and use it as an excuse for a Macromedia Flash MX gag. You thought a gag about a 16-year-old piece of animation software was better than decent animation? I did. Unbelievable. This is why you can't find a publisher. Actually, I think you'll find that's because I'm a renegade and a lone wolf. I did contact a number of publishers, though. Shh, sh sh the word niche came up a lot. Don't tell them that! And the word no. Camera switch return to last gameplay transition time 0 0.5. That guy has issues. Well, shall we? It's time to get it. We have everything we need once we open this safe. We can finish the job and kill Peter. We can finally end this nightmare. I'm in. What a fucking yoink. 
L what a fucking process this was. <laughs> Guys, remember when I walked into this town, everyone was gone because they were scared of me, and then I also killed the ferryman, and um, walked inside of the building, and also killed the guards, and then immediately walked up to Heavenly Peter? If only I could just murder. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh no. Oh no! Chet, a missing one. Where is it? Tell it to me straight. Just tell me. A missing one. The graveyard? Okay. Let's ride. Soft locked. I know about the crown guy at the library, but I'm trusting the person that's also been right most of the time. Hello, grave. So what am I doing here in the graveyard? What am I, what am I, what am I getting here? Lamb. Dead guy, library. Give lamb. Huh. Wait, to this? He's resting in peace now. There's a guy you trade the lamb to. What guy, though? You... What guy? You want the lamb? I don't want to get involved in whatever they're up to. Who want- who want lamb? We're reaching that obscure adventure game th In the white grave? No. I don't think that'll help. It's a guy reading a book. But you don't know where he is? Is he in the cave or is he in a different spot? Chat, stop guessing. They're reading a book. He's te Birdman's technically reading a book. Well, he's writing on a book, actually. You open the grave. I don't remember how to, though. I'm only looking for one person's messages because they're the person that's been right consistently. Chat, so believe me, most of you I'm not looking at right now. So I guess I'll look for a guy reading a book. Look at the white grave. <laughs> since, since when? Whatever, fine. Hey. I'm trying to sleep here, pal. Hey. Can I have that? Please refrain from attempting to steal my book. I can't sleep unless I have something to hug. So unless you have something more cuddly than this book for me, not very flipping likely I love this book, piss off. Okay, now I get it. Ah. Okay, I can't argue with that. This dude is flipping adorable. Now prepare to die. Are you sure that's a good idea? The whole no more murder situation was made pretty clear. Don't get me wrong, I'll do it. But if I was you, I would think very carefully. I will think very carefully and save my game before I kill him. What the game should have done was also let Interact go to this menu because sometimes I don't choose to look at stuff because Interact usually results in the exact same statement. Or your character just automatically reads out the exact same thing the label says it is. Prepare to die. Jeez! Ow. Well, let's get moving now. Man, we killed that guy bad. The sword's sharp as fuck. All right, we now officially can get what we need from the library, man. Bring this in, deliver the book to the library. 
And we'll be ready to go kill enlightened Peter. <gasps> Pass me the book. Why are you doing this with the lights out? I like to perform business transactions in the darkness. It's a tax thing. Fair enough. Here you go. Thanks. Here's your deposit. Ooh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's a big one. Thanks. <gasps> okay, cool. Chat, we have everything we need for the bribe. Even, even the crown. Let's ride. I found a boat pass. So you did, yeah, let's go. It was a long journey. It actually took longer than I expected this game to take. Man, imagine if I just fucking threw in the towel after I killed everyone. That would have also been fun, though. All right. All right. All right, motherfuckers. Here's the jewelry. I got you this gaudy brooch. Nice. I'll take this one. Thanks. One down, three to go. I got you this necklace, this ridiculous necklace. Ooh, I'll take that one. Thanks. Two down, two to go. Got you this crown. It'll it'll perfectly cover my bald spot. Thanks. I got you this supple young boy with rosy cheeks and a pert little butt. Wonderful. Thanks. Wow, you've really exceeded our expectations on the bribery front. Yes, I didn't expect you to actually kidnap a human child. Great work. I guess you can go in now. Try not to break anything. Have fun. Oh, I, I will. What a journey, Chet. <laughs> Prepare to die. An angelic choir singing Francois Couperin's Troisim Lacan de Tenebris. Ah la 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 la. Clap him. Nice. Bravo! Where is he? Where's the man himself? Where's Heavenly Peter? I want. A two, a one, two, three, four. Hello, who's this then? I have no idea, but she seems innocent enough. Yes, I don't imagine she's likely to cause any trouble. Should we briefly abandon our post in order to acquire and consume ice creams? Heck yes, we should. Fancy organist playing Johann Sebastian Bach's Prelude and Fugue in A minor. Well, it's just about time for it. What's up, Dick Watts? Remember me? A surprisingly casual and rather bored-looking pink-frocked lackey. Don't have time to talk to all of his lackeys again. Creepy-looking bald-headed lackey. Heavenly Peter. That's him. Heavenly Peter. Yeah. Actuchimhes. My lord, Heavenly Peter proclaims. Ouchie. Prepare to die. No waft un ruko nakan kawuch. I don't, I can't pronounce it. Spoog wart ut daxen. Heavenly Peter has graced us with the following sacred utterance. Please don't kill me. I can make you rich. Yippee kaye, motherfucker. Ah! You bastard! Uh I 
you going to shout for the gods or what? Why am I the one who always has to shout for the gods? You're just as capable of shouting for the gods as I am. I can't shout for the gods. My lips are cracked and my throat is parched from conversing with Peter all day. Oh, you don't think my throat is parched? My throat is just as parched as yours is. There's no way your throat is even nearly as parched as mine. How could your throat possibly be even nearly as parched as mine? My throat could easily be at least nearly as parched as yours. <laughs> Was that Heavenly Peter's severed head? Sure looked like it. Yikes! Looks like you had a productive trip. I sure did. I even had time to pick up a souvenir. Thanks! Looks like you've been pretty busy yourself. What happened to the whole all men are equal rhetoric? Ha <laughs> yeah. Treating all men equally and working together to build a better future worked great for a while. We put out the fires and restored the crumbling city wall. We nursed back to health all the men who had been injured in the war. We managed to rebuild the entire town in a matter of days. It was magnificent. But people couldn't get the idea of an all-powerful leader out of their heads. They, w they couldn't bring themselves to believe that such great things, such powerful things, could be achieved simply by showing compassion for one another. So they praised me for all the good they had done. All hail immortal John. They kissed my hands and bowed at my feet. They gave me gifts and wrote songs about my greatness. They vowed to do whatever I asked them to do. Well, it didn't take long for that power to go to my head. I began asking personal favors of them. Just little things at first, bathing me in almond milk, fanning me with palm leaves, and feeding me seedless grapes. But the more they treated me like a king, the more I believed I was one. And the more I believed I was a king, the more I acted like a tyrant. You almost done? Anyway, long story short, I'm the bad guy now. <laughs> I don't really care about any of this. Can I go now? Actually, I have another job for you if you're interested. Does it involve murdering people? It sure does. Then count me in. What's the gig? Last week, the people organized a great party to celebrate my birthday. I have judged their efforts to be insufficient. The jelly did not possess the desired amount of wobble. I failed to pin the tail on the donkey, and the magician was unable to make my sadness disappear. Punish them. Kill them. Okay. Home sweet home. <laughs> I clicked off the game. <laughs> hey, precariously perched poet. Eat shit and die. <laughs> Hey, preacher with a big cross and a baby in the book. Fucking destroyed, motherfuckers. Perish. I would really rather stay out of this. <laughs> hey, some wealthy landowner, landowners relaxing in and around a muddy pool. Fucking die. How about that? Hey, this guy! Now you're that guy! Hey, a collection of alcoholics enjoying a brief respite from the sadness of drinking alone? Enjoy a permanent respite from life! Ha! Hey, a man drinking alone! Continue to do that alone? No! While well, you're dead? Forever! A friendly young peasant lad smoking some crack or something. Get smoked! <laughs> T 
Two heterosexual males bonding over the act of removing fish from their natural habitat are about to remove you from your natural habitat of being alive. And I then turn your head into fish. Goodbye. <laughs> Some kind of charlatan or trickster running a classic blind portrait painter scam. I've made your final painting. The new Pie King. Now also dead. Ah, uh, that's the end. You won, kinda. Nice. More to kill. There must be more. There must be more. There has to be more. I don't believe it. I missed a guard at the front of the fucking church. I know this. A guard holding a pike in a handbag. Thought I'd forget about you, huh? That was great. That was fucking awesome. Damn, man. That was a good fucking game. You guys want to play the other one? Or at least take a look at it? Because this guy did make a prequel that uses, um... That whole town landscape that we just ran into killing everyone. All those characters are actually characters in his first game. Which, weirdly enough. This one's called Four Last Things. I think it's much shorter. We'll see if I end up beating it. Uh, but I do at least want to do it, because that was fucking awesome.